Hey guys, let me speak about uh, another important drug over here, which is a teri parotide. Teri parotide. Okay, let's take a deep dive into the drug over here. So teri parotide is a recombinant PTH analog. It is a recombinant PTH analog okay and mainly what is the function of this what is the mechanism of action mainly it stimulates mainly it stimulates osteoblastic activity osteoblastic activity it stimulates osteoblastic activity mainly when administered mainly when administered in pulsatile fashion remember this point very clearly unlike continuous exposure to pth which actually promotes bone resorption but the pulsatile administration of teriparatide favors the osteoblastic activity. So the main function of this is stimulating the osteoblastic activity. So therefore, it promotes bone formation. Right? It promotes bone formation. So and has a net anabolic effect on the bone. So not only that, it also responsible for regulation of calcium and phosphate homeostasis mm, metabolism mainly by the kidneys as well as the intestine. So this is the main mechanism of action of the dairy parotide. So what are the clinical uses? Clinical use. So when we say that the teriparotide stimulates the osteoblastic activity, therefore responsible for the bone formation, obviously it is used in the condition called as osteoporosis. Osteoporosis. Right? It's mainly used in the condition called as osteoporosis. Severe osteoporosis, we can say, particularly in the post-menopausal women and men who are at a high risk of fracture. So, unlike anti-resorptive therapies like bisphosphonates, when compared to bisphosphonates, teriparatide promotes bone growth and increasing bone mineral density, which means uh, we can say that it is more effective. The efficacy of the teriparatide is more when compared to bisphosphonates. Right? And in osteoporosis, the administration will be in the form of subcutaneous injection injection for two years two years every day every day most often it is limited to two years of therapy mainly due to potential risk factors okay now let me trace down what are the adverse effects adverse effects Remember guys, the most life-threatening as well as the most important risk factor is the development of osteosarcoma. So this is the most uh, life-threatening. Okay, most life-threatening risk factor we can say. Other risk factors are not so serious or severe. One will be like dizziness. Right? This is most often be seen uh, particularly after the first dose. And uh, another side effect will be in the form of tachycardia. Few patients may experience tachycardia. And uh, another important uh, side effect will be muscle spasm muscle spasm and also and also there will be transient transient hypercalcemia 
transient hypercalcemia. So, but out of all these risk factors, osteosarcoma is very, very important, uh, uh, most life-threatening risk factor, we can say, which can be developed uh, due to the drug called as teriparatide. Okay, and as a quick review, remember that the teriparatide is a recombinant PTH analog. It stimulates the osteoblastic activity whenever it is administered in the pulsatile fashion. Therefore, it promotes the bone formation. Therefore, it is most often used in the severe forms of osteoporosis and administered in the form of subcutaneous injection. And the duration of the therapy should not exceed more than two years, but it can be administered every day. And uh, why not more than two years because of the potential risk factors and the adverse effects whenever we see here the most life-threatening adverse effect will be the development of osteosarcoma and other uh, adverse effects uh, will be in the form of dizziness especially after taking the first dose and the patients may experience tachycardia muscle spasm and also another important risk factor is the transient hypercalcemia and this is what we need to know about the drug called as teriparatide. Thank you.